So, hey guys, what's going on? My name is Jacob from Cinema K Productions, and in today's episode, I'm going to be showing you guys an updated version on how to make your laptop mic sound like a studio mic. I do not currently actually have a laptop mic available to me, because I'm on a desktop, but uh, this will work both ways, don't worry, this is still just going to work the exact same way. Uh, this just includes a little bit more steps, just in-depth on how to make your microphone sound a little bit better than the previous tutorial that I made, because I was foolish back then, and now I actually know what I'm doing. So, yeah, let's just jump right on in. So the very first thing you want to do is actually download Audacity. There's going to be a link down in the description for you guys. All you have to do is just head on over here to this download section and you can click the download Audacity button. There's uh, links for Windows, Mac, and Linux, so don't worry about it. It works in all ways. Uh, whenever you actually get the application installed, go ahead and open it up and this is what it will look like. Um, really, really straightforward. Make sure that you have your microphone selected. A microphone, um, maybe use my AT2020. Um, I generally actually don't even record this volume, but this is me adjusting it while I record. And uh, I don't really want to do that. <laughs> So this is your recording volume that your microphone is going to be recording at, and this is your playback volume that you're going to hear it back at. Um, I'm thinking about 50, 45, 49, right about there. So whenever you're ready to record, you can actually just record. So I'm just going to go click this button, and I don't want you guys to talk for about 3 to 5 seconds. So hey guys, what's going on? My name is Jacob from Cinema K Productions, and this is just a little bit of a test recording. So what I just did there was actually give it a little bit of sample sound. If I open this up just a little bit more, you can actually just see all this right here. Uh, it doesn't really show you any peaks, but if I zoomed in on it like a lot, it'd look like freaking Kansas, dude. It'd, it'd be all hilly and everything. It's horrible. So what we want to do is actually just to, like just select the first four seconds-ish and just go to Effect Noise Reduction. Sorry, I was extremely stupid and I forgot to tell you guys to um, copy down these settings in the video. So. Um, just copy down the settings right here if there's an arrow pointing to all the things that you need to copy down. And, um, yeah, sorry about that. Get Noise Profile. And then we're going to click Control A on our keyboards. And we're going to go to Effect, Noise Reduction, OK. That'll remove all background noise from our video. So if I click Control Z and I go back, uh, if I just play it back, you can hear that background noise. And now if I go back to the Redo Noise Reduction and I play it again, there's literally nothing except for the background noise that you actually hear from my microphone while I'm live recording it. So there's no background noise whatsoever. So let's say on accident while you were recording, uh, something scared you or something like that, you know. So I'm just going to go on and start recording right here and I'm actually just going to yell a little bit. So I'm sorry for this. Um, just prepare your earbuds if you're wearing earbuds. That's all I'm going to say. Okay, I warned you. Uh, there it is. Wow, that's a peak, all right. So what you guys actually want to do is just click Control A, and that will select it all again. We're going to go to Effect Compressor. Again, just one more time, copy down these settings. Sorry about that. I really suck at things. Bye. And wow, just compresses it down like that. So now, if I go, and uh, now we don't want to listen back to this. So all that I know now is that that's not going to break your eardrum. So if we listen to it again, no background noise. So hey guys, what's going on? My name is Jacob from Cinema K Productions, and this is just a little bit of a test recording. Ah! And it's all pretty, pretty nice and whatever. So let's say that your microphone actually doesn't really offer that good a bass quality. Well, all you have to do is click Control A and go to Effect, Equalization, and just copy down all these settings that I have right here. Uh, I should have been saying that for all the previous stuff. I'll, I'll pause the video and I'll, I'll go over and do some crud. Um, so um, what I'm saying right now is useless. But anyway, um, so just co copy down these settings. You're going to go to Bass Boost first. You're going to click OK. Wow, it just boosted the bass. Would you look at that? Next up, we're going to go to Equalization again, and this time we're going to go to Treble Boost. Same settings, except it's just flopped around for treble now. So now if I play it back... So hey guys, what's going on? My name is Jacob from Cinema K Productions, and this is just a little bit of a test recording. And it sounds a lot more clear, a lot like simpler to say the least. And uh, all we have to do now is just make sure that your actual audio does not go over a maximum peak that you want it to so that you don't break your audience's ears. So what you want to go to is uh, effects limiter at the very bottom. It could be hard limit if you're on a certain version of Audacity, but for me it's called limiter. And while we're in limiter section, we're actually just going to select the hard limit option. And you're just going to copy down these settings as I said before. You're going to click OK. And as you guys can see, it kind of limited to that. So if I go back and then I redo it, it, re it limited it right there. So. So hey guys, what's going on? My name is Jacob from Cinema K Productions, and this is just a little bit of a test recording. And this literally applies to all recordings, like, what? Oh, fuck. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Uh, my friend's a douchebag. Um, this literally applies to all recordings, so whenever you're recording, you can do this to all video settings. It'll, no matter what, it won't affect your actual, like, quality of the recording. It'll actually make it better. So I recommend you guys do this all the time. 
Um, I'm going to be having a tutorial coming out soon on how to use voice meter, which is the current application that I'm using to actually talk to you guys. Oops, I did not mean to do everything that I just did. Um, I meant to move you over like this. So this is like a mixer board on Windows. Um, it's called voice meter banana. I actually donated to get certain audio devices like like these A, B. Those are like donation exclusive. I might include them in the thing if I get like a certain amount of likes in the video or something like that. But that's for a future video. Um, hope you guys did enjoy this. If you guys did, be sure to hit the like button. And uh, yeah, sorry for making it outdated for so long. I know that it was really cruddy tutorial and pretty much just how to remove background noise. But this one's a lot better. How to make it a lot better. How to make it more bassy, trebly, equalizes it, and um, you know, limit the audio, and all that crud. So yeah, whenever you're done, just go to file, export audio, and you're good. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Jacob from Cinema Care Productions, and I'll see you guys later. See you guys.